the places on earth that you'd find an animal baby. There's broken glass, jagged metal, cars being crushed. But believe it or not, in Birmingham, in a place just like this, the guys working there made a little fluffy discovery. In this industrial-sized car recycling plant in Birmingham, up to 200 cars are crushed for scrap every day. Old cars are stripped of any useful parts that can be reused, the fuel and oil is then drained off, and the cars are then crushed into small cubes. It's also the home of an elusive stray cat who hadn't been seen for a few days. The scrapyard workers were worried about her, but she had a secret. We had a Porsche 944 in. We've had her in the yard for about two weeks. It came to nobody wanted parts of her, so we were going to scrap it. The old Porsche was lifted up onto a forklift truck for her final journey to the crushing machine. Hang on, I've got to get a spare wheel. Suddenly, one of the scrapyard workers, Stan, checked the boot to see if there was a spare tyre he could salvage. I forgot all about the spare wheel, so I said, drop it down, I've got to get the spare wheel, eh? Tried, tried the boot lid and it, we ain't got the key to it, so we ain't quite a big lad. I've got a call to get in there rather than me crawling in there. And he's got in there and all of a sudden he said, did you hear something? Like Could this be where the missing stray had been hiding? I could hear squealing and I said to Stan, I said to Stan and Wes, I said, can you hear that? And we were like, yeah, we can hear that. Unbelievably, in the car they were about to crush, they found four newly born kittens. Mum, the elusive stray, had been busy rearing the kittens in the boot. Now, the guys, obviously not being experts, popped the kittens into a box and went online for some more information. They were as cute as anything. Like, I mean, we are all pretty big blokes, rough blokes, and that's what people couldn't believe. Rough, <laughs> rough, uh, rough old blokes saving little kittens and that looks unreal. Unusual, like, I've never come across anything like this before. I, I couldn't believe it when I just opened that. I don't know what I was expecting, to be honest with you. And I opened, I was like, wow, four kittens just sitting there. With the car only seconds away from the crusher, these kittens had a very lucky escape. That car was going straight to the crusher. The forklift literally had the car up, ready to take out these gates right here and around to our scrapyard. And nobody would have known no different then. I wouldn't have been any wiser. They'd been crushed into a block. Fortunately, but uh, look was on the side that day. <laughs> With the mother cat still nowhere to be seen, the lads had to look after the kittens themselves. We took them out. Put them in the box, I took them to the office. I put milk in there originally, and then when I, I'm no cat expert, so when I looked on, there was loads of people saying, that's brilliant what you've done, but you've got to, uh, you, you shouldn't be giving them normal milk. People were saying, best to put them back, see if the mother cat comes back and feeds them. So we put them back. Two days after, we come back, and in the boot of the car, where they where the was, they weren't there, there was no sign of them. So there's a fox at them or something or what. With the mother cat and kittens missing in such a hostile environment, the hunt was on. We finally looked all around the place, and we found that she took them to a van, which is amazing, really, because the van, there's just one little door ajar, the back doors are wedged against another, and there's a little slot in a wooden cutout. And she had to get up there with each one, drop them in there. It's just, she's an amazing cat, really, the mum, it's unreal. But uh, we found them again. With cars being shunted around, stripped down and crushed on an hourly basis, these scrapyard kittens seem to be perfectly safe and secure. Keeping the cats, they've been here now about a week. We're feeding the mother. The cats are a bit too young for us to be feeding. So we're going to feed the mother, make sure the mother feeds the cats and make sure everything's all right. We're thinking this is where she went through. There's a little hole in the wood there. So we're not going to disturb them too much. We're just going to give them some food, see what happens. Now, the mother's not here at the moment, which is probably safer for us all, really. As you can see, the four kittens are down the end there. The mother is in and out on a regular recurrence, so they are safe, we know they're healthy. And as you can see, they're cuddled up as a nice little bunch there. Yeah. And I'm actually allergic to cats. So it's hard for me every time I'm near them, I actually start not sneezing, my eyes are water and all, but um, cat rearing is harder than a lot of people think. You do have to be there constantly for them, you know? And you've always got to check on them. Now we know the mother's there with them, but she's a feral cat and she can be in danger as well. So we do keep our eye on them. The guys have decided to let the kittens stay at the yard to follow in their mother's footsteps, helping keep the site free of mice and rats. It makes you want to come to work and actually get on and see how the kittens actually are. You know, it's, it's an exciting thing and 
to be part of it's even better, you know, that kind of way. So I'm, we're delighted with the outcome of this, to be fair. So, even though our kittens have downgraded their ride from a Porsche to an old van, they seem safe, happy and healthy, with their scrapyard guardians looking over them. <laughs>